Hello, my name is Hannah, or The Obanoff, or Theo Banoff. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make an art video. Whether you love them or hate them, video content is the new thing on social media. With the rise of TikTok, Instagram and other platforms are rolling out reels and shorts and other quickly consumed video content. This has been super tough for a lot of artists whose work might not lend itself to video format or who may find making a video just too hard to do. I'm a painter and I've managed to figure out a way that works for me, so I'm going to share with you my tips for how to make an art video easily. There are lots of ways to do this, and a lot of them require professional or expensive equipment. Video making can also be really time consuming. Is this method the most professional? No but it is cheap and easy, and it doesn't require that you are a professional videographer. None of the materials in this video are sponsored, and of course there are alternatives for everything. I'm just sharing with you what works well for me. The idea though is that making a video shouldn't interfere with your ability to create artwork as if you weren't even recording. There are three things that you will need. Number one, you need a smartphone. Whatever you have, I'm sure is fine. Number two, you need a phone holder clamp arm, like this. I got this on Amazon for 10 bucks. And third, you will need a video editing app. I like the app Video Shop because it's pretty straightforward and easy to use. I prefer using a third-party editor so that I only have to edit once instead of having to cut my video in Instagram and TikTok and anywhere else I want to post it. I also like using an app because it means that I don't have to move video content from my phone to my computer and back again, and the whole idea here is we're trying to make this as easy on us as possible. For settings, we're going to record normally, meaning not in time-lapse. We're also going to change to 60 frames per second on an iPhone that's here. And remember to clean your lens. We're not gonna record the entire process. We're just gonna show bits and pieces along the way as the project comes together. To start, set yourself up to work normally. Clamp your phone to your desk, easel, or chair. As I'm working, I keep my phone and phone holder completely out of my way until I have a good paint stroke coming up or if I'm changing colors or making some other big change to my piece. When you're ready, bend the arm to show your work in the frame and record about 20 to 30 seconds. Remember to record normally, not in time lapse. Then stop recording, move the arm back out of your way, and keep working like normal. Do this every so often. Let each shot and angle be slightly different. Maybe some more top down, some more at an angle, some closer up. Some people like to avoid showing the entire piece in the frame until the very end to keep people guessing and keep people engaged. I like to aim for about 10 to 12 clips in total. This method should allow you to work pretty normally even over the course of multiple days, even over weeks. But remember, don't fake it. So no paintless brushes going over already painted areas. When you're finished, let that last clip hold on your final piece a little longer. If you wanna get fancy, you can reveal your finished piece by bringing it into frame in your last clip. Now that we have all of our clips on our phone, let's edit. I load all of my clips into Video Shop, and you should see them on a timeline like this. Now, remember, attention spans are short, and the longer somebody stays on your video, the better for algorithm performance. The goal for this edit is quick cuts and engaging or kind of zone out zen footage. Here's exactly what I do. First, I like to cut every one of my clips to exactly six seconds. Make sure that that six second clip is the most interesting part of the video segment. I cut the last clip to about 12 seconds, give or take. The edit on the last clip doesn't matter too much at this point. Next, I remove the sound from all clips. This way, I don't have to deal with it later. 
Next, increase the contrast if it's necessary. Sometimes when you record things with your phone, your artwork can look a little washed out. In Video Shop, I find that changing the contrast to 60 makes my artwork look a little cleaner. Finally, we're going to increase the speed of all video clips to two times. In the end, you should have a video clip that's about 30 seconds in total. If you need to, now's a good time to shorten that last clip, but make sure that it holds on your finished artwork for a good amount of time. Click export and you're ready to share. Here are some tips for posting. When you post on Instagram, you wanna share your video as a reel, not just a video. Use the app's audio. Don't try to add music to the clips separately. Just pick something out of the library. You wanna pick an engaging cover photo and don't overdo it with hashtags in the caption. On Instagram, you can keep them in the comments. On TikTok, try to limit to three to five. Hit share and that's it. The idea is that the process of recording your video shouldn't interfere with your ability to create your art, which is the most important thing. This method of editing can be done quickly on your phone in front of the TV later, and ultimately simplifies the process enough that you'll be able to create more video content without worrying about it so much. Don't get frustrated if your first few videos don't perform as well as you want them to. It can take some time to build this up. Give it a shot, let me know how it goes in the comments. Of course, please feel free to share any additional tips or recommendations you might have. Don't forget, subscribe for more tips for artists.